Welcome back everyone and I'm here again with Jeff Grant, SBR contributor, and today we're going to be looking at that college football game between the Arizona Wildcats and the UTSA Roadrunners. But first off, how are you doing this morning, Jeff? Doing great, Dax. Uh, very busy previous weekend seeing all these teams in action. And I have to mention before we get into these matchups, we had a very successful week one. But week two, in my opinion, is the most difficult and sports bettors need to be very cautious in utilizing their bankrolls uh, starting this week really get more aggressive starting in week three. No doubt, my man. Now, talking about the success that we had last week, Arizona set a single game record for total offense in their season opening victory over UNLV. Now, Jeff, do you think that they'll be able to carry over that success with freshman and new Solomon under center? That's the real question here, and that's one of the main reasons why uh, the Wildcats are laying this type of number against a team and UTSA that was very impressive in its opener. Of course, you have a Pac-12 team going against a lesser opponent here in the Pac-12 conference, I believe is the best conference in the entire nation, even above the Southeastern Conference. And really the question uh, about Solomon is the fact that yes, he had a great debut. He was the first freshman to ever start a season opener in Arizona's history, but will he carry that success over to the road his first time playing away from Tucson, and this defense is much better than UNLV's. Now, uh, Texas San Antonio benefited from a plus five turnover differential in their upset win over Houston last week. Now, in your handicapping experience, is this stat important to focus on when capping a matchup like this? It's one of the more important statistics to handicap, but it's one of the more uh, difficult ones to figure out, Dax, because you're never going to know if a team's going to turn the ball over in a game. Yes, you can kind of look at how many uh, turnovers a defense forces and how many uh, interceptions or fumbles an offense uh, gives the defense, but it's really one of those uh, statistics that you're not sure the number that's going to come out of a particular contest. But what I found very interesting, Dax, in looking at UTSA's victory over Houston last week. I thought it was one of the more Im impressive victories for the fact that Houston led the nation a year ago and they have a lot of experience coming back in turnover margin, but they lose that battle against UTSA by five last week. So UTSA did a lot of good things and I think that's gonna be an advantage for the Roadrunners in this affair. All right now, Jeff, I actually think it's a little worth mentioning the fact that Arizona has won all nine of its non-conference games under third-year head coach Rich Rodriguez, including a 38-13 win over UTSA as 24-point home favorites just a, just a year ago in 2013. Now, Jeff, do you think that the Wildcats can keep improving on that record? Yeah, Arizona hasn't faced much in non-conference play since Rodriguez took the, uh, the head coaching job just a couple years ago. We do mention the fact that they had that 38-13 win against UTSA as 24-point home favorites last year. That's really kind of a, a starting point when you're handicapping a game. And what I do is I come up with a handicapper line. And you got to figure who is back for Arizona, who is back for UTSA. And then you got to really dig into the box score and see who had an impact in that game last year and coming up with a new uh, point spread. And what I did is I kind of did all of that and came up with Arizona being a five and a half point road favorite as they only outgained UTSA by less than 50 yards. And that game was in Tucson where Arizona is truly dominant. They're not as good on the road. And UTSA, like I said, had one of the more impressive opening weeks. So that definitely gives them a little point spread value. All right, so taking that into account, are we gonna see you bet, uh, recommend a bet on them on the spread or maybe a total play here? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with a point spread play. I was possibly interested in a money line underdog play with UTSA if the line moved uh, in their favor after opening up. But it's really held steady as Arizona being a seven-point road favorite in this game. But I established them as a five and a half point road favorite. So I'm gonna be backing UTSA in this video. But I must mention that I'm not really a big fan of playing a game that I only have a one and a half point difference in the first couple weeks. A one and a half point difference in comparison to my line to what the odds makers have has more significance as the year goes on as I'm more confident in my numbers and the odds maker is more conf confident in theirs. Right. So I am gonna recommend an underdog play on UTSA getting the full seven, but definitely don't go crazy on this selection. 
Well, no doubt you did your homework here, Jeff, so I hope it pays off. Anyways, thank you very much for your valuable insights and can't wait to talk to you again this uh, tomorrow. Thank you. And for sportsbookreview.com, this is Dax Floyd.